guys, it's Gem from Twizzles here. You can find me on Etsy or on my website and blog, twizzles.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a felted fairy house which is hand sewn together. And it should look something like this when it's done. Let's get started. I've cut out my mushroom house pattern pieces. So this is the base and this is the cap and the spots. Using the Twizzles mushroom house pattern that can be found on my blog. I've also transferred on the pattern markings onto my felt here for my house. You'll only need to do it on one half because this is going to be folded. So you fold it and then transfer on the windows and the door. With the spots for the mushroom house, I've kept aside two spots because I'm going to sew these ones on first, then sew up the side seams. And then to cover some of the side seam, I'm going to put these two spots on. I've pinned on my spots and I'm going to hand stitch them on now with a needle and thread. I'm going to leave a small gap before I stitch up the spot completely around the edge because I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing into the larger spots. I've hand stitched on all my mushroom spots now using a back stitch and I've stuffed the larger mushroom spots. I'm now going to pin the mushroom cap together. Once that's pinned together I'm going to do a hemming stitch along the edge here. I've now stitched my seam along the edge here and the two leftover spots that I had from before I'm just going to place along the seam here. I'm going to stitch them on and stuff them. I've finished sewing the top of the mushroom house. Now I'm going to get started on the base. I've just pinned the edges here after I've folded it. My interfacing's on the inside. I'm going to wrap this edge around and pin it in place with a one centimeter seam on the inside. I'm then going to do a hemming stitch along this back seam here. So now I've stitched my back here and I'm going to top stitch around the top of the mushroom house in a blanket stitch. Okay, so I have finished top stitching around the top edge of my mushroom house in a blanket stitch. I'm now going to cut out the windows and the door. When you cut out the door, you only cut where the pattern's marked because you want to leave this bit joined so the door can open and close. Okay, so I've cut out my door here and my windows on either side. I'm now going to get brown thread and blanket stitch around the edge of the door here and around the door frame and also around the window edges. For the door and window edging, I'm using DMC thread. You can use any brown that you want. This is just one that I had and I leave the strands in the thickness that they come, I don't split the threads.
So now I get my green wool roving and I'm going to pull pieces off for the vines that are on the mushroom house. I just grab a small amount and pull it like that so a little tuft comes off and then I just give it a slight roll ready for the vine. I place it on my house and then I'll stitch it on with DMC embroidery thread that's green. Okay, so you finished your fairy house now and it should look something like this. And the top can come off. Thanks for watching Twiddles Tutorials. Bye!